Hello and welcome. My name's Tabby and I'm going to be taking you through this quick after work wind down practice. So let's get started in extended child's pose, bringing your big toes together, knees as as wide as comfortable. Send your hips back towards your heels and walk your hands out towards the top of your mat. Allowing your body to be fully supported by the mat here. Inhaling deep into your belly and out through your nose. Letting go of the day. Take one more big inhale into your belly. And exhale, start to come up to tabletop. Align wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And start to take a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale to lower the belly, lift your gaze, lift your chest. And exhale, press the mat away as you draw your navel in towards your spine. Taking a few more of these at your own pace. Mobilizing the spine, warming up the back body and the front body. And then walk your knees back towards the back of the mat. Walk your hands towards the top of your mat and send your chest down towards the mat for puppy pose. Your hips are aligned over your knees, creating one long line from the crown of your head to your tailbone. You can always place a block under your forehead here for a little bit of extra support. Stretching into the shoulders here and the side body. And then rolling through your spine, coming onto your belly for Sphinx pose. Align elbows under your shoulders and opening up through your chest, gazes forward, inhale. And exhale, let your chin draw in towards your chest, stretching through the back of the neck, in between the shoulder blades. Press into the tops of your feet, squeezing your glutes to protect your lower back. Lowering back down, draw your elbows in line with your body and make your way to downward facing dog. Sending your hips up and back, finding length through the spine Keeping a generous bend in your knees here if you need. And starting to pedal out the feet here, bending one knee and then the other. Stretching out the backs of the legs, the calves, backs of the heels. And then taking a moment to find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting your right leg, three-legged dog. Bending your knee pigeon pose. Extend your left leg out long behind you, pressing into the top of that foot, finding an even lift through both hip points here. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold over your front leg. This can be a bit of a challenging pose, so using your breath as a guide to help keep you here in pigeon. Extending your inhales and your exhales. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, coming back up. Coming onto your fingertips, lift the chest, lift your gaze. And then tuck your back toes, downward facing dog. Other side now, three-legged dog with the left leg, bending at the knee, placing your knee towards the top of the mat. Right leg extends out long behind you. Come up high on the fingertips to lift your chest here. And exhale, take your fold. You might extend your arms out long in front of you or you could place both fists on top of one another to create a pillow for your head. 
and just notice how this side feels different to the other side not holding any judgment or attachment to how it should look but paying attention to how it feels finding a nice deep stretch through the outer hip and also the front of the extended leg remembering to breathe And coming back up, lift your chest, finding your back bend. And exhale, rolling over onto the glutes, just swinging your legs out in front of you for staff pose. Flex your toes towards your face, lengthen through your spine, chin is parallel to the mat. Inhale, lift your arms. And exhale, send your chest towards your knees for a seated forward fold. Finding length through the spine. And on an exhale, allow your forward fold to become a bit more restorative here. Allowing the chin to draw into the chest. The upper back rounds. Your toes soften. And you can have a bend in the knees here if you like. Using your inhale to create space and your exhale to melt deeper into your forward fold. Take one more inhale into the belly now and as you exhale, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Meeting in a comfortable seated position now. Inhale to lift your hands up overhead. Taking a twist over towards your left. Right hand comes to left knee. Inhale to find length in the spine. Exhale, twist. Keep drawing your navel in. And inhale, reach your hands up overhead, twisting towards your right now. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale to create more space. And exhale, see if you can twist just a little bit more here. Inhale, coming back through to center now. Grounding down evenly through both hip bones. Binding length in the spine, crown of the head reaches up towards the ceiling as your shoulders draw away from your ears. Tuning into your breath. Notice any change in mood or energy. Thanking yourself for coming onto the mat today. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Taking one more big inhale all together. And exhale, finding your bow. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your night and I'll see you next time.